Oh, it's wet. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an absolutely wonderful, lovely, fantastic day. Today we are going to be doing yet another installment of the worst game show on YouTube. Today we are going to be doing the Ipsy Showdown for the month of December. Very sorry, it's coming at you a little bit late. My Ipsys didn't arrive for like a really long time. I don't know where they were, but I did not receive them until like yesterday. So we are now going to be getting into the Ipsy Showdown. If you are brand new here, first of all, hello, welcome. Very excited to have you here. But a quick rundown of the Ipsy Showdown is I have a... I don't know where I'm going with this. How did I forget everything that I'm supposed to say about this? Alrighty, so for those of you who do not know, the Ipsy Showdown is where I take three different Ipsy bags with three very different profiles and then I unbag all of the little baggies and I try to guess which bag matches which profiles and then at the end I put everything on my face. So the three different profiles I have set up are as follows. I have my regular bag which has all of my like actual stuff. Hair color, eye color, makeup preferences. I say that I want a super like makeup heavy bag. I also say that I am very comfortable with makeup and I want like neutral everyday kind of makeup. Then my second bag is like my ultra easy ego bag. This is like a more funky, fun, adventurous version of myself. In this bag, I only want like crazy adventurous makeup. I still want a lot of makeup and I do say that I'm very comfortable with makeup. And then my third bag is very different from the rest. It is a skincare bag, which I could definitely use a little bit of right now. In this bag, I say, get your makeup out of here. I just want samples of like skincare. That is a little bit of a rundown of the Ipsy Showdown. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all my bags over here on the floor. Alrighty, so bag number one here, it has a little rubber band around it. I never learned how to do this. Ooh. All right, so I have absolutely no idea what is in here. I don't even know what the bag looks like this month. I really haven't had time to even look at any type of spoiler or anything. Ooh, sparkly. All right, so the bag for this month is very, very pretty. I do like it. I think it feels very festive and holiday-esque. It has a fun little kind of tassely zipper here and some nice gold sequins. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to grab out of here, let's go for this. Okay, so the first item we have in the bag number one is the facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. I actually really like First Aid Beauty, so that is good. These little pads here are supposed to help exfoliate, tone, and brighten. They're also alcohol free. Apparently, this little guy comes with 10 pads in it. I thought there might be like three or something, but 10 is a pretty decent number. All right, cool. I will definitely have to give those a try. Next up here, oh, I forgot to mention on the back of this little sporkle bag. It's like kind of a faux leather black business going on back here. It's like party in the front and business in the back. Is that how that saying goes? Nope. Something like that. Anyway, I think it's also really cute on this side. Okay, next up here, I'm feeling something that I'm excited about. I hope. Yes. Okay. So we have a brush next up in the bag and I absolutely love getting brushes in bags because I hate purchasing them myself. So there is a little tiny, very like kind of pokey looking brush in here. It looks a little bit like the uh, icicle ornaments that I hang on my Christmas tree. But this is from the brand Farah and this is the 35A, what? 35E. I do think this is a pretty decent shape for like blending out eyeshadow and stuff. I do like the color of it as well. However, it does feel little bit kind of flimsy. Like when I just kind of put any pressure on the end here, you can kind of see a bit of a bend in it. I'm guessing that's because this is like so, so thin. But I will definitely still be giving this a try today. Let's go ahead and move on to the next little item in here. What is this guy? Oh, okay. So next up we have something from Benefit and this is the Benefit Give Me Brow. And it is really itty bitty and teeny and cute. It's just a tiny little miniature version of their Give Me Brow. It has the littlest itty bitty spoolie you've ever seen. Alrighty, three products down. Let's go ahead and move on to the next thing in here, which is in a cardboard box. Okie dokie. So next up here we have something from Kiss and Smink. And I've definitely received something from them before because that name, that name has stuck with me. I still don't know what a smink is. All right, so this little product here, which you probably literally can't read at all, is called the Everything. I'm assuming that is the product. And then on the bottom here, we have the actual shade name. So we have just a little what looks like a roll up stick. And on the end here, it shows the shade. So it's kind of like a light pink. Ooh, it's also very shimmery. It's 
smells like wax. So this is the amount that the product comes with. It's like a kind of pearlescent pink shade. And for a quick little swatch here, there it is on the back of my hand. I expected it to be just a little bit more creamy, but it is <laughs> very, very like reflective. And because it's called the everything, I'm gonna go ahead and assume, perhaps wrongfully, that you can use it for like your cheeks and your eyes, maybe even your lips. The lid's already missing. I guess I just shouldn't even be surprised. Oh, this is strange. Okay, I'm actually feeling two things left in the bag, but I've already gone through four things. All right, okay, so next up here, we have one of the uh, classics, just an absolute classic of subscription boxes. So this is from Lottie London. This is the AM to PM eyeliner in the shade black. <laughs> so here is the little eyeliner. It is just a sharpenable like little pencil, but I do like that it's not made out of wood, at least I think. Wood's just super stabby. Every time I sharpen an eyeliner pen that's wood, it's just, it's just like splinters going into your eyes. So let's get a little swatch of it going here. Ooh, it feels very, very creamy. I think I swatched it directly on top of the other thing I just swatched. Let's try it over here. Ah, oh, that's really nice. This glides on incredibly smoothly. It reminds me a bit of like the Smashbox something something liner, uh, which I really like for doing like water lines and stuff. So yeah, I kind of like this. And all right, you guys, there is one extra thing left in the bag. Definitely not complaining. That's pretty cool. I have a very hard time saying cool, by the way, if you haven't noticed. Okay, and the very last thing that I have received in my bag is the Generation Clay Ultraviolet Brightening Purple Clay Mask. Oh, I hope it is actually purple. I don't know why, but when things are colors, it's, it's exciting to me. <laughs> uh, okay, so it is actually just a little bit purple. It's more of like a purpley gray. I was hoping for some like electric, like purple, purple grimace looking <laughs> face mask. But there it is. It is a clay face mask. You can already see how like the thinner parts are starting to dry on my hand. I can feel it like pooling already. I definitely like clay masks, so this is pretty fun. All right, so that is bag number one down and I received six products, which is a little unusual for Ipsy. You typically get like five. And uh, so far I have literally no idea which bag this is. I'm gonna go ahead and say it is my regular bag. There were a couple face products in there, but there were also several like makeup items. Moving on to bag number two here. This one has a little bit more girth to it than the first bag. Oh, it's wet. The mystery liquid smells a little bit like maybe makeup remover or something. I guess we'll find out once we get into it. But there are also two face masks in here. That could be the culprit. They are also very damp. Oh, wow. There's three face masks in here. That's pretty nice. Oh, look how cute. Okay, so the first face mask is a Let It Glow Ultra Moisturizing Jojoba Oil Sheet Mask with an adorable little snowman on it. Oh my gosh, they're all adorable. Okay, well, this one is super, super cute. This one is an Oh Dear face mask which I actually say oh dear all the time. I have a framed piece of art in my like living room that's just antlers and it says oh dear. Anyway, this is a detoxifying lemon sheet mask. And then the last one is a clarifying peppermint cocoa sheet mask. So that's really nice that there are three in here. I don't know if any of these are like the source of the liquid. So I'm going to pop on into the bag here and find out. Let's go ahead and reach on in here. Oh, I'm already feeling a repeat. I don't wanna snap it as I pull it out of the bag. We have yet another little Farrah brush here. So that is our first repeat of the day. Okay, next up in here, I'm feeling another repeat. This one's just a little bit more of a rough state than the last one. So we have yet another everything face stick. So two repeats so far. Okay, next up we have a little cardboard box and this is from Steve Laurent and it is a loose powder. All the boxes are just like so wet. So here is the packaging on the little loose powder. It's very, very pretty and I was expecting like a loose face powder just based on the name, but it looks like this is actually a loose pigment and I received mine in the shade Antique Olive. Oh, I broke it. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay. This is a very, very pretty shade. It's kind of like an olive gold. Let's try to get this back on without spilling the olive gold all over me. Next up in here. Ooh, okay. This is actually really funny. I wonder if it's the same shade. But I received something from this brand, like my last Ipsy Showdown, and I've been using it absolutely every day to do my eyebrows. <laughs> Uh, so this is also from Catherine Cosmetics. It's very, um, it, it is noticeably dirty now. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is actually a little bit different. This is Sienna's Highlight, and that's really, really pretty in the pan. That's really pretty. I like that quite a bit, actually. All right, so that highlight is really, really beautiful. Let's go ahead and see what the very last thing is in here, and we have something from Ciate London. This is a glitter flip. Oh! I'm actually really excited. Is this one of those lip thingies where you like put it on and it looks kind of regular and then you go 
probably a little less dramatically and it turns out like glittery. This I'm very, very excited for. So I got mine in the shade Infamous. It does look like a very pretty color. I'm not really used to wearing like a super, super glittery lip, but I am very, very excited to try this out. Okay guys, so bag number two and I'm still very confused. Uh, apparently the source of the liquid had to have come from one of these sheet masks. Nothing else in here had like a mysterious liquid in it. But based on the colors and how makeup heavy this box is, I'm gonna go ahead and switch my answer and say that this is the regular bag. And now I'm thinking that the first one is the skincare bag. Uh, I really don't know though. So let's go ahead and move on to the third one and that might give us a bit more of a clue. Jeez. All right, so there are no sheet masks or anything on the outside of this bag. So let's see what is inside here. Oh, right on the top, we have yet another repeat. So we have another Farrah brush. Moving right along. Ooh, okay, next up we have something from Luna by Luna, which I have received several things from this brand before. And apparently this is a highlighter. I got mine in the shade Electra, and by the shape of it, <laughs> can't open it. <laughs> By the shape of it, it almost looks like a baked highlight. It has kind of that dome look to it. Feels a bit like a baked highlight as well. All right, so we'll get a little swatch of this highlight over here. Oh, and this is also very pretty, but these two look, I don't know, super similar, at least to me. This one might just be a touch darker, but they kind of give that same like shifting peachy pink vibe. So these are very, very similar, but kind of a different texture. All right, D, next up here, we have something from Grace and Stella. This is Meat Mud Your Skin's New Best Friend. I like the packaging on this. I kind of like this little blue to purple ombre they got going on. But we do have yet another mud mask. So a lot of these things in the little packages so far have been quite similar. Alrighty, next up here we have something from It Cosmetics and this is the It Superhero Mascara. And I have tried out this mascara before and I think I actually like it. From my very terrible memory, <laughs> it was a pretty good mascara. Okay, moving right along Next up, I'm feeling a little squeezy tube of something. Okay, so the next thing we have is from Juice Beauty, and I don't know a lot about Juice Beauty, but I'm pretty sure they're a pretty pricey brand. And this is the Stem, Cellu Stem Cellular two-in-one cleanser with words I cannot pronounce. I think Juice Beauty is supposed to be created with like a lot of natural ingredients, so that's pretty nice. And then last but not least, I have something else from a Steve Laurent. Oh, okay, so this is a little bit different. This is a lip oil in the shade Orchid. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Okay, my goodness. Uh, anyway, here is the lip oil <laughs> and it just has like the very palest purple tint to it, which I think is actually really pretty. This reminds me a little bit of like lip glosses and stuff that I used to get at like Claire's in the 90s. Kind of looks like a lava lamp once you stick your wand into it. This actually feels pretty nice on the lips. I don't think like the tinting really makes a difference at all. All right, you guys, this might be the absolute most confusing uh, Ipsy showdown I've ever done. I literally have no idea which bag is which. Everything is fairly neutral and regular. There is skincare in all of them. I just, I have so I'm just gonna guess randomly. You can do the same in the comments if you like. You can leave your guesses down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and guess that my first bag, which included all of these items right here, is my regular bag. But uh, this bag actually is... <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to guess my second bag, which came with all of this. Did this all come in one bag? This is way more than five things. Well, for one, that highlight didn't come in this bag. You've already seemed to manage to forget what you just opened. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna guess that this very moist bag <laughs> um, is my adventurous bag because this is olive green. I don't, I don't know. But this bag actually is... <laughs> And then for my third bag, which came with these items here, I'm gonna guess this is my skincare bag because that's the only one left. But this bag actually is... Alrighty guys, so that was everything for the unbagging portion of this video. I'm gonna go ahead and try on all these things on my face. The bags that I got, I think are pretty good. And some of them came with like more things than I think they're supposed to. 
I don't know if Ipsy just made an oopsie or if they were being extra generous this month. I just, I really don't know. But let's go ahead and move on into this try on portion. I'm sorry that I look like the doctor from Back to the Future. I don't know what happened to my head. All right, so I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit. I don't think I received any like moisturizers or primers or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly slap on some of my own primer. Oh, I hate setting down to do your makeup and then completely forgetting to wet your beauty blender. Eh. <laughs> So my face is done and uh, I totally forgot that we kind of got like a blushy thing in here So I'm just gonna put that on top of the blush. I already have on that might be a problem for somebody who doesn't like to look like Ronald McDonald But uh, I feel like this is not correct. <laughs> it's kind of happening though Like my cheeks are getting a little more luminous, which is kind of nice now Let's move into a highlighter and since we got two I will try them both out if I can find it Alrighty, So on this side, I'm going to try out the Catherine highlight, which I think is super super pretty Ooh, very highlighter-y. And then on the other side, I'm going to try the <laughs> Luna by Luna highlight. All right, so this one I think is a little bit more subtle for sure than this one over here. So just depending on how much you like your face to shine, <laughs> they're both really pretty. They're just different. I'm gonna move into my eyebrows now. That hair is literally driving me nuts. And the first thing I'm going to do is just fill them in with some powder. I just pretty much use powder every single day because well, I don't know why. I've just started using powder and that's what I've stuck with. <laughs> wow, that's not what the tip of my eyebrows supposed to look like. Okay, and on top of that, I'm going to be trying out a little bit of the Give Me Brow. Maybe it will uh, contain my eyebrow hairs a little bit more. I kind of got some like brown <laughs> tone here, which makes my eyebrows look even thicker and uh, more like that guy from that Sandra Bullock movie where she found a man that was in like a coma and pretended to be his wife. Am I the only one that knows what I'm talking about right now? Perhaps I am. Okay, so the, oh, this is much lighter. <laughs> this is uh, much lighter than the powder I just put on. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, it looks like my eyebrows have frosted tips now. Okay, eyebrows are not looking the greatest right now, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and move on into the eyes. We only received one eyeshadow, so I'm gonna work with it and then something else from a different palette probably. I'm gonna use the Soft Glam palette because I use this literally every day of my life. I'm just gonna take a regular old shade here, probably Cypress Umber, which is like a brown shade. Then using one of my three fair brushes, I'm going to just uh, kind of smoke this part of my eye out. Oh, that's a bunch. This brush feels decent so far. It's not like the softest brush I've ever used, but it feels pretty good. All right, now I'm going to take a little bit of concealer, make my eyelids sticky. Alrighty, with my finger, I'm just gonna take some of this goldy green, greeny gold, and smush it on. Okay, now that that is done, this is what I'm talking about. You know, like one looks halfway okay decent, and the other one looks like straight up dumpster fire. I just, I don't know why. So I think I want to kind of like like try to smudge out my lash line. I don't know how well this is gonna go. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that. I just put it in my waterline and now I feel like 2007 Alley, but let's add just copious amounts of mascara and see if it looks any better. So I'm going to be using the It Superhero Mascara. All right, so there it is with the mascara on. I actually like this mascara. I think it did add quite a bit of volume. All right, you guys, so here are the eyes done. And let me tell you, one of my favorite parts of this entire process is when I finally upload the footage and I'm going to edit it, I can finally see what the eye look looks like to you guys because I have no idea. But uh, there it is. I'm not really sure what's going on in this particular area, but we're just gonna ignore it. All right, so next up what we're gonna do is try out this glitter flip lip and I'm so excited for this. It probably will not go with my eye look at all, but I don't care. I'm just really excited to see the glitter flipness in action. Okay, so here we go. It is actually a really pretty color just on its own. You can already see that it's a little bit shiny, but I'm gonna let it dry down and then smack my lips together and see what happens. Ooh, it's not as crazy as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like glitter once I smacked my lips together, but it's just kind of like a nice little sheen to the lips. It is kind of drying, I'm already noticing. All right guys, so here is the final look without my glasses on because my glasses turn all of my eyeshadows purple. I think there are a lot of really good things in here. The highlights are super pretty. I like the color of the eyeshadow. I really actually like that pencil liner. I know that's hard for me to say, but yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. So that was all three of the bags and the try on. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the it's Ipsy Showdown. But that is all I have for you guys today. So just thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I just hope you guys have a wonderful, lovely, fantastic day. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.